Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be an all signs reading for February 2023. This is your monthly reading. You guys, check out our community tab because we do polls to see which zodiac sign is going to get a reading for the topic that will be in the poll. So check that out. You can follow me on all my social media. Thank you everybody for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm open for personal readings. Thank you everybody for your continuous love and support. We're really growing our channel. It's 2023, so let's get to 5K, y'all, for real. We're at 1K. We should get to 5K. That's what we should do. And that's lowballing it for y'all. It don't take much to give me some love and support now. I appreciate everybody who's been sticking and rocking with me. So, you guys, this is for February 2023. This is your monthly reading. We're going to pull uh, some messages from spirit and then see what's going on in your general or love life. Whatever comes out for you guys, okay? A lot of you could be getting a little more spiritual. The high priestess wanted to jump out. We're going to do Aries to Pisces. Happy birthday to all of the Aquarius, okay? <sighs> okay. Check the description box. Everything you need is going to be in the description box. All the most recent readings I've done will be in the description box. You can uh, follow me on my social media. Those links are in the description box. Follow me on TikTok. And also check out our new 18 plus Patreon. I do 18 plus readings on Patreon, y'all. I do content on Patreon that I don't upload on YouTube. Y'all check the Patreon out as well. Thank you, everybody, for your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys, let me know which zodiac sign y'all are dealing with when I get to y'all sign. Let me know the zodiac sign y'all are dealing with in the, in the description box. And all the most recent readings that I've uploaded will be linked in the description box as well. Come on, Aries. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for February 2023? Within the next few months for you, Aries. So something big is coming in for you within the next few months. And then we have a year from now too. So you guys are really planning things out. You guys have dates on you guys' stuff. So within this time, within this time frame, within this time frame, you guys are putting yourselves on possibly a calendar. Okay, can you tell me, see the nine of pentacles, a lot of abundance and stability. Maybe you guys are becoming business owners or you guys are just really collaborating and networking with people. All right, spirit, what other messages do you have for Aries for February 2023? So within the next few months, so February is going to be the start. See the growth and expansion here? February is going to be the start, and you're going to see the fruits of your labor from something you did in February within the next few months. And then something you did in this February, you're going to even see it within, within a year from now, you guys. So it could be a child, okay? Some of you could be becoming mothers, growing ex and expanding. Here, we, we saw the Nine of Pentacles, and then you elevated into the Empress. That's pretty much it here. You're growing, you're expanding, you're becoming more comfortable within yourself you're going from a single independent stable energy to an overflowing of just divine masculine masculine excuse me well there's a masculine here um but i meant to say divine feminine energy you're oozing with love abundance growth and expansion you're going to be spoiled you're going to have everything that you want you're going to be able to rest easy Things are going to come very easy to you. Yeah. Things are going to become come very easy to you. I was drawn to look at this card. Do you see the world right here? So a new cycle. You're going to be living a completely different life a year from now. Okay. And you're going to really receive the fruits of your labor and really start enjoying life now because of whatever you're doing here in February. Okay. So. All right. Love messages for Aries in February. All right. What can Aries expect in love for February 2023? We have photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. You could be looking at old photos and wanting to make new memories. You're going through nostalgia right now. Okay. Somebody could look, be looking at your photograph or you could be looking at somebody else's photograph. We have self-indulgence here. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Exactly. So right now, what you guys could be doing is working out, eating better, creating your business, networking. You're emailing out. You're sending that text, sending that email, sending your resume, put, really pushing out information, really pushing out 
energy because it's something that you're trying to receive. You're applying for those jobs. You're um, getting your business credit, getting that loan. It's something that you're doing that's very lucrative for you. That's really going to impact you within the next few months and also be spanning up, up until next year, a year from now too. And you're making new memories. I like this. All right, anything else for Aries for February 2023? We have the Four of Swords. You guys could be resting, going on vacation. The Empress came out again. So some of y'all could be getting pregnant or having children. We have Strength with the Page of Swords. Some of y'all are having babies. Some of y'all are getting pregnant and having children, could be getting married as well. I'm telling you, there's something that's going to be completely different about you that's starting with that you're starting here in February. You're going to see it within the next couple of months, and then it's going to be completely different within a year from now. Okay. Clarify the Empress. The Three of Cups. A lot of happiness, growth, and celebration. I'm telling you, people are going to be very happy for you congratulations it's money stability you're opening your storefront it's something you're doing in regard to your money you're creating that legacy and then it's like a lot of times when people be like you're creating a legacy you're like well how well what do i do that's what you're doing now trying to figure out how do i create a legacy for myself so that i can actually make money passive income what is it passive and active income y'all know what i'm trying to say but damn the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles Y'all are going to be well taken care of. Take, uh, Tell me about strength. The hair fiend. Y'all are in some type of relationship with the Taurus, Libra, or a Leo. The hangman or a Pisces. So you're going to have strength. Maybe some of you don't want to be in a relationship because you want to be a business owner. You want to create a life for yourself. You don't want to settle down yet because there's stuff. You want to create a name for yourself. I hear that song by Drake when he's like, work and work and work and work and ain't ya? You ain't got no time to lay up. You were just trying to be somebody before you say you need somebody. Get all your affairs in order. So that's called Faithful. Faithful by Drake. So that's what I hear. I know you've been working, 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 ain't ya? You ain't got no time to lay up. My voice ain't here today, y'all, so I'm not going to be singing like Drake, but y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't, go listen to Faithful by Drake. So I'm seeing Pisces, Taurus, Leo, and Libra. You guys have a lot of good things coming in for you. February marks the beginning. All right, come on, Taurus. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Okay, Taurus, Spirit said no. Tell me what this no is about. The situation will improve. So you might be trying to make some type of decision and Spirit is like, no. Now, there is something that's going to improve for you. Give me one last message, please. For Taurus. Get more information, that's why. So before you do anything, get more information first. The situation will improve for you, okay? Or this no could be a completely different thing. No to this one thing. The situation will improve to this other thing, but you need to get information, get more information on that thing there, okay? We have a year from now for you too. All right. What is Taurus's love life looking like in February 2023? This is your monthly reading. All righty. This is for Taurus. We have healing heart. So you guys are going to be healing in February. There's something that really starts the complete healing for you. You'll be healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. So you become, you're setting yourself free is what's going on. Because you used to feel like you were not enough. So you used to be frustrated in your relationships, you used to lack confidence, you used to self-sabotage, and there was some type of fear or ego issue, and you could have been very jealous, or vice versa, or you could have just been with somebody that brought all of these negative things out within you. Or you could have dealt with the person that had all of these 
toxic traits. They were very frustrated in the relationship. They didn't have confidence. They lacked self-esteem. They self-sabotage all the time. Their fear and their ego got in the way and they were very jealous. And now you have to heal from that. Either way it go, whether you were the one or they were the one who inflicted it on you, it's healing time. Ooh, we have twin flame coming out for you. This could have been your twin flame who hurt you like this. Yin, yang, zen, balance. The chaser, exactly. Yeah, this could have been your twin flame that did all of this. Oh my goodness. It's time to heal. It, it, it really is time to heal. Your person might not be ready and it's time to heal from that. You don't have to fall in that twin flame stuff, especially if somebody's hurting you. It don't matter if they're your twin flame, if they're hurting you. That don't matter. Them being your twin flame should not give them a pass to treat you poorly. Come on now. Or when you start healing, you are going to manifest a new twin flame. Okay? All right. Okay. Tell me about this information here from Spirit. What's going on for Taurus in February? We have the Three of Cups. Watch the Aries reading, y'all. Strength. The Hierophant. A lot of the same cards. The Hangman. The exact same cards as Aries. So what I'm seeing is, yes, hold back and, because there's more information that you need to receive. This one thing may be a no because you need to get more information first. It could be in regard to love or a new job. Or you could be like, I'm wondering if this would be the best thing for me. Should I do this? Is this that? And Spirit is like, no, just wait. Just get more information first. The situation will improve. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the situation will improve. It involves money, the Ace of Wands, and a new job, a new career. King of Swords, where you're the boss, you're the CEO, you're the leader. Ten of Wands, but it, it does involve a lot of responsibility. And maybe you're like, this is too much pressure on me or too much responsibility on me. Or this is nothing like they said it would be. Get more information first and make sure you have all of your ducks in a row. Because if it is this hard, you know, yeah, maybe consider your options. But Spirit is saying the situation will improve. Just get more information first. You could be having to choose between two jobs, actually, and you're wondering which one is better for you. Okay? Get more information before you uh, choose. Sorry, give me a second. Alrighty. Tell me about um, this love. Tell me about the energy and love for Taurus, February 2023. I saw the devil card. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. But there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. The hangman. You could be stuck in limbo and suspension. Okay, there you are there. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to take some time. There's going to need to be a lot of healing first with the hangman so that you can transform into this empress here. And it's going to take some time. It's weird to saying invest in yourself. That's where your happiness lies. First and foremost, invest in yourself. Yeah, because there you got to heal. That's it and that's all. Six of Cups, healing, healing. That's all I see is healing. And you healing is attracting somebody new. But I see your finances or whatever this is, is very lucrative for you. So there's no lack in that department. So the only signs I seen was... The devil, which is Capricorn, that came out again, could be a Libra, Taurus, or a Pisces, or an air sign. All right, let's go to Gemini. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini, February 2023? Hello, Gemini. How are you, my lovelies? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment on which zodiac sign you might be dealing with. I'm open for personal readings as well. All right, this is for Gemini. Mm. There's no need to worry, Gemini. So in February, you might be worrying about something. There's no need to worry about this, okay? Spirit said there's no need to worry. Overall energy. 
let go there's something you gotta let go of because you holding on is stopping you from taking action it's been leaving you complacent and stagnant there's no need to worry when you let this go there's no need to worry when you release there's no need to worry all right tell me the energy and love for gemini february 2023 not today showing up so you're not in the mood not dealing because you're hurt and you're avoiding a conversation or a call from somebody you're setting your boundaries you could still be angry that's why you need to let go it's hard for you to take action because you need to let go of this karmic relationship i'm not well let me not tell you what you need to do but there's something karmic something toxic that's not for you that you're already upset about, that you're wondering if this is for you or not, and it's saying, let go. There's no need to worry. I feel like a lot of times people hold on, us us people, me included, hold on to things because we feel like we might not find anything better. And I'm not saying like, I don't know. It's just, can I be completely honest with you, Gemini? A lot of times, I don't give a damn what these spiritual people are saying or talking about. Oh, they were always looking over the fence, looking over the fence. What's wrong with looking over the fence when I'm in a shitty ass relationship now? Why do I got to stay in this shitty ass relationship now? Well, what were you doing in this? I know what I was doing. I was staying in the shitty ass relationship and that's what made it worse. I should have been gone. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, which one is it? Which one? What do you want from me? Because... It's like, I'm not even finna get on my soapbox, but tell me more. Um, tell me what's going on in love for Gemini, February 2023, please. We have engagement ring here. So maybe there was an engagement that is getting broken off. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. And then we do have soulmates. So when you... There's no need to worry. When you let go of this one thing, you're going to be able to take action and actually receive your soulmate, the person that you are supposed to be with. Okay. Or here, with this spiritual thing that's going on, there's no need to worry in regard to your spirituality or in regard to this job or this money or in, or in regard to your growth and expansion. There's no need to worry. Spirit does want you to let go of something. That way that you can finally get moving and start taking action and things won't be stagnant anymore. All right. This is for Gemini, February 2023. Yeah, take back control of your life. It's time to take action. You can have Aries in your chart. Go watch the Aries reading. Exactly. Let go and take action. What more do you want? What more do you need? You're taking back control of your life. You're moving forward in a positive, very wonderful way. We have the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. So what I'm seeing is you're what you are worried about something, and it's causing you to just stop and slow down. So what I'm seeing is you're taking back control of a situation because in the past you might have moved too fast, so you jumped without looking or something like that, and it hurt you and it caused you to not trust your next step you don't trust yourself but spirit wants you to steal don't worry move forward if you've learned from this you don't have to worry about going through this again because you've learned right spirit does not want you to be complacent they really do want you to move forward and take action here you are gemini come on lover boy or come on lover girl the ten of wands love is a burden to you Okay, there are some worries and some fears that you really got to heal from. Could be a Leo you're dealing with or a Leo did all of this. But I see Leo, Scorpio, I, okay, Leo, Cancer, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a little bit of Earth, a little bit of fire. All right, so what do you need to let go of here? I see Taurus as well. What do you need to take action on? So there's something that you really don't need to be worried about at all. 
Just listen to your intuition. All right, Cancer. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? February 2023. Hi, Cancer. Thank you guys for watching and viewing. Don't forget to hit the like button. I appreciate it. That really helps our channel. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancer for the month of February 2023? Cancer, I'm open for personal readings as well. You can check the description box. You have no need to worry as well, just like Gemini had got. Then we have no. You could be worried because something is a no for you right now. But there's something else coming that's in perfect timing for you. So maybe a job, a, buying a car, or getting into a new home. You're worried about this relationship or something like that. But there's no need to worry. You might have got denied for one thing and you're worried about it. Something new is going to happen for you in the perfect timing. This rejection was divine protection. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. I have Capricorn in your chart. Tell me about... What's going on for Cancer in Love for February 2023? The Butterfly. So we have relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So your relationship is evolving to the next phase and it could happen like lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval and transformation. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Can I get one more on this? Okay, we have not today, just like Gemini. I'm getting a lot of Gemini energy, so maybe you guys could be cuspers. So maybe right now you're not ready. Right now, whatever this person may not be ready. Maybe right now it's not it's not just it's not time yet. That's all I'm seeing. That we have perfect timing coming out for you. It could be a Scorpio. There's some type of ending or transformation or transition that's coming. So you can have Scorpio in your chart or dealing with a Scorpio. So, but don't worry. This no that you that this no or whatever this is, this blockage or this halt, don't worry. All right, we have the Queen of Swords coming out. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart or dealing with one of those signs. Tell me more. What's going on? The Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, you have it's coming. It's coming. Watch the Gemini reading, please. Just watch it. <laughs> all right we have the ten of swords page of swords eight of swords all this air energy it's the gemini here in your energy queen of swords ten of swords page of swords eight of swords you have the ace of cups here cancer it's a gemini somewhere up your ass or libra aquarius so what i'm seeing here is this no is going to hurt you Okay, what's this Ten of Swords about? And it's going to get you in your head. Queen of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. The Moon. Some type of job or some type of move that you guys are going to have to do. Or maybe what this is telling me. Five of Swords. It's, what is this about? judgment perfect timing that's all i'm seeing here the tower is the scorpio big change page of cups strength knight of swords so there could be something that your person is going through you could be so what i'm seeing is there's something that you want to do in life and your partner may not be ready to do it so y'all might have a breakup and then when everything gets settled y'all might get back together again for others of you there's something here that you're trying to do and you put all of your eggs in one basket and it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to turn out and you took a hit maybe you could have lost the job now you got a new job an even better job what i'm seeing is you were expecting something to happen the way you wanted it to or expecting something to be a certain way when it's not going to be okay but don't worry 
at all because this is actually happening exactly the way it's supposed to be and everything is happening in perfect timing the love you want the car you want the job you want the house you want is happening in perfect timing it just looks like spirit is reorganizing some things and it may not feel good and it looks like chaos to be honest but but it looks like your finances are still intact a little bit eight of pentacles six of pentacles three of pentacles so yeah ace of swords page of pentacles and also some of y'all could be having more children i see a lot of pages here some of y'all could be having more children i see somebody might be coming to your house when your children is coming to your house they need to live with you again just for this little while okay all right so i see gemini cancer pisces libra aquarius a lot of scorpio and leo if this does not make sense to you remember this is predictive probably come back and check with me in the middle of february or the end of february shit but there's something that's growing evolving and changing for you okay so no need to worry Moving on to Leo. Leo, you need to ask for help from others. Ask people for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help, Leo. All right, this is for Leo Spirit. What messages do you have for Leo for February 2023? This is for Leo. Thank you, Leo, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much. You can book personal readings with me. I'm open for personal readings. Leo, you have no need to worry. What, are you, what is everybody worried about? We have helpful people. I'm telling you, ask for help from others. Ask people for help. If you need help, just ask. What's this no need to worry and helpful people about for Leo? improving health so you might have a health scare there's something going on for you where you're trying to improve your health you're trying to be more healthier you could be going to the gym you could be wanting to become an influencer you could just be eating healthier making shakes um fasting dieting doing keto whatever it is that you're doing so you could be worried about your health there's no need to worry there's helpful people Maybe you need encouragement, you need advice, you need, you know, some support in improving your health. All right, we do have in the near future as well. So you could be receiving this information within the near future or your health is going to be improving in the near future. So there's no need to worry. And there's people in your energy here to help. All right. For others of you... What I'm seeing is, Leo, you could be very stressed and it could be taking a toll on your health. So really ask for help from others. The people helping you are going to help relieve that stress off of you so you don't have to worry anymore. Okay? You don't have to go through this alone. And everything's going to get better in the near future for you. Okay? All right, let me see. What's going on in love for Leo, February 2023? We have mirror, mirroring each other. Self-image, relationships, reflect. Re we have mirroring each other. <laughs> Self-image, relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. So somebody coming towards you could be mirroring you. Y'all are doing the same thing. We have Phoenix here. So you and this person have both gone through endings, transformations. You both are wanting to become better people. There's a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. So you and your person are ready for something new.
All right, one more for Leo. Let me see. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Cause y'all been dry than a bit. Y'all been dry, ain't you? You been dry? You been dry? Hmm? You can tell me. Mm hmm. <laughs> y'all got dates. Y'all have date here. Okay. There's somebody who wants to go on a date just as bad as you. Hmm. 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 <laughs> meeting someone new dating get back out there leo plan and set a damn date plan and set a damn date there's something new it's a new phase going on here in your life okay rekindle renew transformation growth change mind i'm ready for something new leo said they're ready for something new so does your, your person is ready for something new as well okay All right, tell me more about this energy here for Leo in February 2023. All right. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, Lord. Money is looking great. Good job, stability. You could be receiving pay raise, promotions, stipends, grants. Okay, I heard GoFundMe. So we have the Page of Swords here. There's something new. You could be going back to school or gaining more information. You're studying. There's a new direction that you're moving into with the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're ready for something new. Some of y'all could even be looking online for more friend groups on Facebook or something like that. The Page of Wands, there's that date or that new opportunity here. Because things been stagnant. Or it could be a Pisces. But what I'm seeing is there's a message here. Somebody that's interested in you, in you. It could be two people. We have the page of swords and the page of wands. But somebody could be toxic and obsessive and only want sex. Y'all do know that. Okay. Tell me about this page of swords. Hold on. Dang. Give me a second. Knight of wands. I wasn't even ready yet. But we'll keep them out and see what's going on. Tell me about this page of swords, please. The Magician, it could be a Gemini, Two of Swords, Three of Wands, King of Swords. So whoever this person is, they are going to come off very passionate at first and wanting to manifest with you, but then they're going to close off and take some time just to be cold and distant from you. Who has time for that? Tell me about this Page of Wands. It don't have to be an air sign who do it. Whoever the energy is, is who's doing it. Clarify this Page of Wands. Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Look, here's I'm just gonna pull out the last page. Y'all dating around. Y'all got a lot of page energy here, but I I'm, I don't know because it's weird because this Page of Swords is the King of Swords, so this is the only King out here. Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. You're gonna like this person more because they're more friendly, but they kind of a little wishy washy. Because even with the Knight of Wands, that's fast sporadic. And so is the Knight of Swords. So they both are going to really favor each other. The Emperor. But one is turning into a big daddy. The King of Swords is a cold ass mother lover. Whoever this is, is turning into a big daddy with the Emperor. Who is who is this? Big daddy type energy. So you're really going to, with the um, Hierophant and the Empress. Okay, I like this. So what I'm seeing is, Leo, there's two people coming towards you. Or it could be the same person. But I see. I feel like it's two people. They're both going to really favor each other. So it's up to you to use your intuition to really figure these things out. Maybe ask for help from others. You know, but make sure you really look at the facts. What's true about this? The truth is how they make you feel. If they make you feel confused, then it's hard to decipher a yes or no on something you're confused on. And usually how I like to do it, if it's a, if it's not a yes, it's a no. I don't, I, we don't do yeses on maybes. Right? Okay. I mean, it works a lot of times. It really does. Okay. It does. So I see Libra, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra, and every page has came out. So there will be no lacking in the dating department. And if there is a lack, it might be vibrational, Leo. So make sure, yes, Lord. 
Yes. Let it be a yes, Leo. If it's something that's healthy and positive and that you want to do. Because we have a connection here. Could be with the Gemini. Yes. You mean to tell me y'all not trying to have some S-E-X? <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all now. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all could be really trying to improve y'all health first, though. All right. Look, we have romance for you, Leo. Let it, Come on now. What do you... Come on. Come on. What's really the issue now? But make sure you're really looking out for those red flags, though. One of those people was a really big red flag, so please don't be blind to that. Come on, Virgo. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo for 2023? We have helpful people just like Leo. All right, give me something. Remain positive, Virgo. Remain positive, okay? And communicate clearly. There's something that Spirit wants you to be very positive about and just communicate clearly on this thing. Don't get um upset. Don't be... What is it? Don't get twisted or manipulated into behaving out of character communicate clearly and remain positive because there's big happy changes coming for you here you might have to compromise on something okay but don't worry about it remain positive if you have to compromise then that's just what it is we're adults here all right tell me about love what's going on in love for virgo february 2023 Oh, we have soulmates. You could be meeting your soulmate. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. And we have wedding rings. You could be getting married to your soulmate. And you have to compromise. Yeah, you got to compromise. Come on now. Y'all getting married now. Come on now. I know you may not, you may not like the way that person do they food. But damn, you love them. It's, can you compromise? You may not like the way that person, I don't know. You may not like the way that person be walking sometimes when y'all be in the grocery store and you just be looking at them like, why you got to walk like that? But damn it, that's your husband or damn it, that's your wife. <laughs> I'm just playing. But there is something that spirit wants you to remain positive about. You could be dealing with the Leo or y'all could be having children. This person makes you very happy. You make them very happy. There's a compromise here. And Spirit wants you to listen to your intuition about it. Listen to your intuition because it's going to bring forth a lot of success. It's going to bring forth what it is that you're wanting. You know, it's going to bring forth your happiness. All right. Clarify this energy for Virgo in February. It's coming in February 2023. All right. We have the Six of Wands, Victory and Success, Ten of Swords. You could be healing from something. Three of Wands, yeah, and walking away from something. Okay, so maybe this person wants to move or travel or move in with you or you move in with them. There's something big that's happening that's that you that's changing, okay? It could be even something in regard to you moving or traveling for work. Yeah, for work, Three of Pentacles. So we have two threes here. This involves the people that you're around, the money that you make, or, you know, the environment that you're in. We have a compromise, your job. We have marriage here, y'all. Come on, y'all make my country accent come out. It could be with the cancer. Y'all are traveling, y'all are moving in together. You have to travel to be with this person or travel for work or something. Your success relies on, I'm not gonna lie, this success of yours might rely on this compromise, but it might be really good for you. It's bringing forth stability, love, forward movement, money your job your career soulmate and wedding rings you might you when you move or when you decide to compromise and move for this job or do this whatever it is that you're deciding to do i feel like that's when you meet your soulmate if you haven't already met them okay maybe you might not want to move or you might not want to take this leap of faith because where you are currently everybody knows you everybody knows your name you're already successful here and you're like i don't want to lose what i already have but spirit is like there's more out there for you okay whatever that means to you yeah whatever there's more out here for you um who who came out i don't think any majors came out 
Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancer. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius, a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Cancer Pisces. Okay, but we have soulmate and wedding ring. There's big happy changes coming. So just remain positive and communicate clearly on what you want. But there might be a compromise that's coming for you. Okay. All right. Come on, Libra. See, look, abundance here for you, Virgo and Libra. Virgo, Libra, cusp, whatever you want to do. All right, come on, Libra. My eye just changed. I just buzzed the front gate. I thank God you came. How many more days can I wait? I made plans for you. But I won't let them fall through. I, 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 I. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? We have no here. Something is a no, but there's an opportunity here. So maybe you, there could be the situation will improve. So this opportunity for you, Libra, it might be a no. All right, tell me more about this no for Libra. What is this? This who want to come out. So remain positive, Libra and don't stop so maybe you might be wanting to give up and spirit is saying no don't give up if you wanted something and it was a no for you and not a yes spirit is saying remain positive and don't stop because there's another opportunity coming okay we do have forgiveness here that's calling me i was not gonna say it but there's some type of forgiveness here and maybe you really need to hear somebody say sorry or maybe you really do want to apologize to somebody so maybe there's something that you did and you're wondering can we ever fix this will they ever forgive me well i don't know i don't even want to start throwing out situations because it may not be your situation What's going on in love for Libra, February 2023? I'm getting a lot of songs for you. You could be listening to a lot of music or the person you are with listens to a lot of music. So, yeah, that's exactly what I was getting. There's some type of separation and you're wondering if um, you guys will ever get back together or something like that or vice versa this person is wondering and maybe you don't want to you don't want to go back on it you forgive this person but you don't want to go take them back vice versa they forgive you but they're not going to take you back there's some type of separation here and spirit is saying don't stop remain positive there's going to be another opportunity possibly for this forgiveness but right now no right now no yeah we have to reconsider within the next few weeks within the next few weeks for you okay okay wow and then we have romance the situation will improve okay so right now there's a breakup or right now you and your person are on the outs or right now love is not looking so well for you but spirit is saying remain positive and don't stop keep moving forward because there's going to be an opportunity here there's going to be an opportunity that comes the chaser yes yeah, spirit does not want you to chase anymore you could have been chasing chaser codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues so maybe spirit is really highlighting like look libra you're worth so much more maybe you could be in your head like should i do this should i send them flowers should i call them should i should i do this should i do that to try to and spirit is like no 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 Okay. You got to heal. Or vice versa. This is what your person is doing. While you are deciding to go on this break or whatever. What do that say? What do that say? 
I'm sorry, Libra, but we have karmic relationship coming out. This may not be your story, but what I'm seeing is there's somebody that's running and somebody that's chasing. This is a karmic relationship. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So which side of the corner are you on? You, you fleeting? You're triggered? You're in turmoil? Are you resentful? Are you learning lessons? Have you let go? Have you started loving you? Because this is what spirit wants you to do. Okay? You could feel like this person is your twin flame. I don't know how we got twin flame and karmic coming out at the same damn time, Libra. Y'all is probably in some. Mm -hmm. So you could have found out like, well, now you found out because you know, if you're in a karmic relationship, you, you find that out after, after a while you find out. And once you did, maybe you really were like, Dang, I thought this was my one. You could have separated from this person and started dating around or vice versa. All right. All right, tell me more about what's going on for Libra in February 2023. Dang, we already have 40 minutes and only on Libra. This makes no sense. All right, Libra. Seven of Swords. That's all I needed to see. There's some type of self-sabotage, lying, cheating, sneaking. It's just not good. It's not healthy and it's not for your highest good. And Spirit wants you to really detach and move forward from that. There's forgiveness here. You might be forgiving this person. You might be forgiving yourself. But Spirit is saying, remain positive. You're going to get a new opportunity in love. Okay? Six of Swords. Exactly. Move forward. Get out of this nasty, toxic energy of the Seven of Swords and move forward in the calmer waters with the Six of Swords. That's it. That's it. And that's all. February is your month. It's your month. Okay? For you to heal, for you to get out of your head, to get out of whatever situation this is, to stop stressing and let go of these burdens, to really let go. Because you've been holding on for too long. Libra, it's all over your reading. I'm sorry if this wasn't your reading, but somebody needs to hear this, okay? All right. Um, Scorpio. Spirit. What messages do you have for Scorpio February 2023? Scorpio, thank you for liking the video. Thank you for hitting that notification bell. I'm open for personal readings and thank you for donating to the channel. Let me know which zodiac sign you're dealing with. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio for February 2023? Y'all just want to see me in my bonnet is what y'all want to do. I'm not going to do it. All right, Scorpio, we have let go. And then we have get more information here. Let go. Get more information. Maybe you've been holding on to something that you didn't have all the information about. Or maybe let go of this one thing and go get more information about that other thing. Give me one last message, please. For Scorpio. What do we have? Oh, I was going to pull this anyway. We do have yes. My soul says yay. Yay. Ask your angels, okay? Okay, cool. My soul says yay. So some of y'all are getting more spiritual. Some of y'all could be really tapping into like praise and worship and stuff like that. Some of y'all are really being more serious when it comes to your life and your relationships with spirit. Like, what do you do? Do you, do you pray? Do you meditate? Do you, what do you do? Okay. Or do you just wake up every morning and go to work and then go home and like, do you have a spiritual system, a belief system? So there's something you're letting go of. You're getting more information and doing your due diligence. And then there's a yes here for you, but 
They said, ask your angels. Your angels want you to talk more with them. Ask them. Consult with them. All right. What's going on for Scorpio in love, February 2023? All right. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted. And there's a friendship here. You could be meeting somebody, having coffee, just going out for drinks. You're conversing with somebody, getting to know them. Okay, you're savoring the moment with this person or you're just savoring the moment and you're feeling very uplifted. You feel lighthearted. And then we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So you're in, shoot, you're enjoying somebody, somebody, man. Okay, so... You're enjoying somebody. Somebody's enjoying you. You're savoring that moment. You're feeling uplifted. There could be a friendship here that's growing into happiness and expansion. A lot of joy and playfulness. You're feeling oneness. We do have kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection. Falling in love. I hear that song by... What's that man's name? Elvis. And he's like, I can't help falling in love with you. I know that's not the, you know what I'm saying. Damn. He said, I can't help, but he can, I can't help falling in love with you. Okay. What song is that? And then I'm hearing that song, Why Do Fools Fall in Love? Like, why am I hearing all of that? I can't help falling in love with you. Okay. All right. Tell me more about what's going on for Scorpio in February 2023. Look, it's a relationship. The Four of Wands, y'all. Come on. You're really happy. You're stable. You could be buying a new home if you're not in a relationship. But things are looking very well for you. Judgment, okay? Come on. Now there's some type of decision. Could be reconciliation but i don't really see that but some type of decision about your life your love life okay got the seven of wands two of swords i don't even think you see this coming seven of swords we got sevens here what's going on queen of pentacles because you're too focused on money okay what is this seven of wands and two of swords about this is an avoiding pushing away type closed off energy that you might need to let go of. I'm wondering if this is it. Maybe you're not open to something because you haven't let something else go. Yeah, oh, Scorpio, y'all are heartbroken. And it's really time to heal. When you let go of that heartache and love yourself and... I just think you don't want to get hurt again. We got the seven of pentacles. Seven could be very important for you. Seven of wands, seven of swords, seven of pentacles. Seven, seven, seven. All right, what's the seven of swords about? The ace of wands. Maybe you want to keep everything surface level. You only want to really have a good time here for a good time not a long time there's something big that you could be ignoring all right the chariot the devil king of cups for a while i'm telling you you could potentially walk away from a really good thing ask your angels pray about it okay I'm seeing travel, happiness, a relationship, things being balanced. Spirit is trying to turn turn these turn things back around for you, make things right for you. Okay? And give you give you a little double for your trouble. But I just feel like you don't trust it. You don't trust easy. But I'm feeling like there's somebody that you could be talking to that you're meeting and you're conversing with and you're savoring that moment and you feel uplifted and it could be a friend or start off as a friendship and it's growing into expansion happiness and joy playfulness and you're enjoying somebody or this is what you want to do but you're just too afraid okay okay yeah because you're stuck in your head 
you're stuck in your head about these big old deep scary feelings you have for somebody or this is how they feel about you it could be a libra gemini sagittarius another scorpio a capricorn Why did I just hear that? I just heard you're hurting me. I heard you're hurting me. I don't know what that means. Could be a cancer or a fixed sign. Could be an Aquarius. So there's some healings that you or this person got to do. And this is you. You just want to remain single. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Alright. But we have ask your angels that something is a yes for you. Get more information and let go. Sagittarius, please. Messages for Sagittarius. We have no for you, Sag. Because there's something better here. There's something better. Something is a no because there's something else that is better for you. This person, this place, this situation, this job, this car, this decision, it's a no. Because there's something better. We also have improving health as well as the overall energy. So maybe spirit does want you to really focus on your self-love and your health, mental health, physical health, emotional, spiritual health. All right, what's going on in love for Sagittarius for the month of February 2023? We have acts right here. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Somebody you literally ran. We have the runner. You're dealing with the runner. Runner, codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, and listening to ego. This person's ego tells them that tells them to run. And tells them that it's okay. This person's ego tells them that it's all about them. This person's ego doesn't think twice about your feelings when they're running okay there is something better this has not been good for your health this could even just be a job giving you the damn blues okay or whatever it is because i'm this is your the spiritual part that i've asked you know spirit about something is a no for you spirit wants you to know that there is something better it could be tying into your relationships about this separation and this person running. It's not good for your health. We have camera. So it's, it could be hard for you to forget. We have reminiscing, keepsake, per perception, learn from the past and make new memories. Maybe you have so many memories with this person, it's hard for you to let go. Yeah, two of cups. It's hard for you to let go, but it hurts. Okay. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's hurting you, Sagittarius. The Knight of Swords. We have somebody who comes in very sporadic, ready to manifest things with you and wanting things to work. Somebody you feel like you have a very spiritual connection with and they make you happy or you make them happy. But then the four of swords. We're not we're not talking that much anymore. Things are becoming very slowed down. And taking time we have the ten of pentacles you can have children money family a car something with this person and maybe this is why it's so hard for you so t so you're telling me that you're dealing with somebody you're in a committed relationship with somebody but they're still acting like they're single that does not do well with your spiritual health because it's hard it's really hard to depend on yourself and depend on spirit when you are continuing 
a certain relationship that is not stable. So when you're unstable in one part of your life, especially when it comes to your heart, it's hard for you to be stable in another part of your life. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I definitely have been one of those people who went through this, not just one time, okay? Because when you, whew, I'm not going to get on that. I'm not going to touch on that. But I do feel a need of boundaries that need to happen here for you. And saying no is not a bad thing. Spirit is saying your boundaries, your affirmation for February, your empowerment word is no. The word no. No. No, I can't do it. And this is really how you're going to regain your power. No, can't do it. No, no. Nope. Mm -mm. And then not even respond, not answer, not be available. Okay? You could be too available. Okay. So this is all about you. This month is all about you. Can you tell me about new love after Sagittarius has healed? This person is manipulative. So after you've healed, there is somebody coming in, the Page of Wands. Who will take their time with you to invest in you could be a cancer it could be a little scary because honestly both of you could have went through the same things seven of wands i feel like you you mean to tell me when somebody comes to you you're not going to be open for a new person and you're not going to be open for new love but that's what you've been wanting but when new love come you close off and you push it away because you're too scared Maybe you might need to take some time for yourself and really do that shadow work and heal so that when a new person comes, you can actually not be scared to be open with them. Now, I'm not saying just be open and willy-nilly and stupid in love. Like, come on now. Have your wits about you, Sagittarius. But I see something coming in and you're completely closed off to it. Just completely. All right, it's some healing that needs to happen. Some of you could be mothers as well. Some of you could be pregnant or getting pregnant. There's the tower coming for you, a big change, five of wands, three of pentacles, six of swords. Some of y'all are going to be shocked that there's somebody that actually really likes you and wants to fight for you. But y'all's self-esteem is so low that you can't believe or that you can't fathom or you don't feel worthy enough to actually for somebody to stand in the gap for you. That's what it looks like when somebody cares about you, when they stand in the gap for you, okay? I see Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini. A lot of fire. We have the emperor coming out for that empress. So there's somebody here ready and willing. Just waiting on you. Could be an Aries you get with. Ooh, why do I hear? No. There's somebody that talks weird, and I don't know who it is. I hear somebody saying, why you why you keep playing with daddy? Why you keep playing with daddy? Who, who talks like that? It don't matter. There's somebody there that said that they will take good care of you. Judgment in the Ace of Wands. Why you keep playing? Why you keep playing? I've been here waiting, waiting on you. been here waiting on you there is somebody there's something here that's going to be very wonderful and loving for you even if it's just a for right now type of thing is what i'm feeling for some of you because some of y'all are too scared see look you're ready you're ready but some of y'all probably don't feel like it y'all too uh, scared y'all are too scared okay come on capricorn
Hi, Capricorn. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm open for personal readings. And let me know how this resonated. Let me know the zodiac sign you're dealing with. So spirit message for you is we have reconsider and we have look for a sign. Spirit wants you to look for a sign, okay? They want you to reconsider what's going on now and just look for a sign. All right, what's going on for Capricorn in love for February 2023? We have karmic relationship here. I wasn't ready, but... And then we have twin flame. So you, you guys could really be in some type of karmic relationship here. Okay. Yeah, we have the chaser. Are you chasing somebody? Is somebody chasing you? There's something that spirit is like, reconsider this. Reconsider. It could be a job moving or at least in this timing reconsider maybe it's not the right timing yet let me just do this like this i'm just getting on my nerves i lay my head on my pillow got me staring out the window wish on the star for a sign all right cool all right What's going on for Capricorn in love, February 2023? Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. There's a surprise invitation or meeting, and you could be hesitant. So, yes, there's something that spirit wants you to reconsider. Somebody could have stabbed you in the back, and you could be possibly trying to get back with this person. And spirit is like, no. Hell no. Have faith that love is coming. Anything else? Love messages for Capricorn for February 2023. What we got? The snake. The snake. Okay. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. So... I'm getting a couple of too many damn messages here. We have wedding ring. There's two people that you have to choose from. One is a good option. One is not. You might need to reconsider and look for a sign on which one you should choose. One house may be the house for you. One house may not be. Look for a sign. Probably reconsider. One job or one car may be the car for you while the other one is not. Look for a sign. Okay? Reconsider. You might need to reconsider one thing. But there's something that you need to reconsider and spirit is saying you need to reconsider this because it's not good for you okay but even though this one thing is not good for you make sure you still have faith and know that love is coming okay love is coming we have wedding rings and it could be a higher level of commitment than you than you even expected and thought of okay dang some of y'all might have a bad habit of falling in love or choosing things that are not good for you. Okay. All right. Tell me what's going on for Capricorn in February 2023. Y'all got new love, new passion coming. We have the five of wands. There's competition. I'm telling you, there's there might be two jobs, two opportunities to choose from. Five of wands, page of pinnacles. Queen of Wands. I hear it, but they both feel right. They both feel right. Use your intuition. Use your damn intuition. Yeah, you're going to have to end one thing and go towards something else. You might feel a connection with both of them. Page of Cups. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. You're going to have to use your intuition in regard. Wow. Look. What? Well, what are we really talking about then? Well, what are we really talking about then? Queen of Wands, King of Wands. There is something. There must be something there that wasn't there before. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But it might be hard to choose from, hard to decipher, decipher from. Look for a sign, okay? Because you could be all in your head with this one with the five of wands. Oh, that's the Yes. 
Could be a Leo. Also, I see your money is looking phenomenal. The world, uh, Eight of Pentacles, the Fool. Amazing. It looks great. It looks wonderful. And then, boom. Knight of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Two of Cups. You done landed and fell in love into a relationship some way, somehow. Where did this come from? King of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups. We like it. We love it. It's awesome. It's phenomenal. So really reconsider and pan out your options and weigh out your options here. Okay? All right, I see Pisces, Earth, Water, Taurus, Aquarius, Aries. We saw a little bit of Leo. So you'll know who this person is because, oh yeah, and Gemini. Yeah, they just match. They just mesh with you so well, but you might feel like that for both of them. We got Scorpio, or maybe you don't feel like that for both of them. You know you have a connection with this person, a deep down solid connection that you can just feel. Okay? But somebody could be trying to um, block your intuition, low-key, with the snake. Somebody could be trying to block your intuition. So really look for a sign. There's some things you got to reconsider here that Spirit is wanting you to take a, another look at. All right. Aquarius, please. What's going on for Aquarius in February 2023? Thank you guys for being here, Aquarius. Happy birthday. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. Check the description box and hit that notification bell. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? We have improving health and we have choose a new direction. So Spirit wants you to choose a new direction here. And really focus on your health, your mental health. What is good for you? And I saw, wait, I'm glad it came out again. There's something that spirit wants you to wait on here. Just wait, okay? Spirit wants you to wait. There's something here that might need to be reevaluated, recalibrated, reorganized, re-something re in regards to your health. Whether that's physical, mental, spiritual, financial, whatever it is. There's a new direction that's opening up for you. All right, what's going on in love for Aquarius, February 2023? Things are just going to be a lot healthier for you. You don't accept some things that you used to accept. You don't entertain things you used to entertain. You aren't surrounded by certain people you used to be surrounded by. And it's just improving your health all around. And I'm seeing your health is more than just your physical. I feel like it's your your energy field and you're improving it. All right. What's going on in love for Aquarius? We have coffin. There's some things that you are letting go of. Endings bring new beginnings for you, Aquarius. There's growth and change coming here. And you're feeling liberated because of this transition. All right. What else? So maybe you're putting an end to a toxic eating habit that you used to have. You're putting an end to a toxic um, way of thinking that you used to have. You're putting an end to, you know, whatever it is. We have Cupid's arrow. Have faith that love is coming, Aquarius. There's a surprise invitation or meeting. Okay, you could be hesitant, but there's passion that I see out here. Okay, insane chemistry. Y'all like each other equally. And y'all are having fun. So there's somebody that likes you just as much as you like them, damn it. Finally. Okay? Because that's what's most important. You're going to have to like me just as much as I like you. Matter of fact, you're going to have to like me more around here. Because y'all motherfuckers being on one. <laughs> One's all right what's coming in what's going on for aquarius february 2023 tell me what's going on for aquarius 
tell me more about this energy for Aquarius in February 2023. Let's see. The Emperor. Yes, Lord. We're taking back control of our lives. There could be an Aries or a daddy coming up in here. All right. With the Six of Cups, a lot of healing. There's some type of soulmate relationship that I'm seeing. And a lot of healing and mending. With the moon, you're using your intuition. You're look really digging deep in those childhood wounds and digging deep into the unknown of... And really burying those things to the coffin. So maybe I do send my condolences if you are burying someone. This could be you really letting go, really, really letting go of the old version of yourself. You don't even look the same. You don't talk the, talk the same. You don't think the same. You're literally not even the same person is what I'm seeing here. The Ace of Swords, there's something completely different, brand spanking new about you. Okay, uh, at all. That's not me anymore. Is what I hear. That's not me anymore. The fool. I'm a I'm a new creature. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind and become a new creature. You're whatever your name is, the old connotation or the old viewpoints that people had on your name, that's not even you no more. Your name is your name is even different. Shit. Your name is even different. Ordained by God. Okay. Even your damn name is different. No, you're not the same at all. Shit. You used to shop at Walmart. You don't even shop at Walmart no more. You go to Kroger now. Fuck that. You go to Target now. You don't even go to Walmart no more. I don't even go to, I don't even go home the same route I used to go home no more. I don't drive down that damn block no more. For what? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Now, there's been a major upgrade in this, bitch. There's been a major upgrade here. And it took a long time. I see a lot of majors coming out for you. You've been using your intuition, and it's going to create a lot of victory and success for you. And you're meeting the one. The one, Neo. You're the one. You are the one, Neo. The emperor and the empress. Victory and success with new love, the Ace of Cups. Y'all are having another baby. You're, you're the one, Leo. Leo, shoot. Excuse me. Excuse me, uh, Aquarius. You could be dealing with the Leo. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> There's no Leo out here at all. I'm sorry, y'all. You're the one, okay? Now I don't mean to yell now. I'm sorry. But yeah. I see Aries, Libra, Divine, Masculine, and Feminine. This is it. This could be a job, moving into a different house, a car, creating your own business, getting married, having children, whatever it is. This is it. Yeah, this is it. There might be something that Spirit wants you to wait on. Yeah, they want you to wait because there's some type of recovery here. So you, so there's something that you lost first. I'm telling some of y'all, I'm really, really sorry if some of y'all had a miscarriage or lost a child or something that you lost because you're going to have to wait. There's so, spirit is going to re up you. So I don't know if you if you lost time, you lost money, you lost a job, you lost your car, you something. Spirit says, wait, because you're going to be recovering here and this recovery is going to really improve your health. And you're receiving and you're moving into a new direction that really brings forth the the thing. This is it. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever you went through. But this is it right here. This is it. This is it. Yeah, the devil and the star. This is it right here. So we see all these majors coming out for you we see leo uh water pisces sagittarius more water 
Cancer, Pisces, Air. But we see Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Pisces, Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius. So there's something that you are letting go of for good. But don't worry. Have faith that something new is coming. That's what Spirit is saying. Wait and recover. Recover. You'll be improving health and being better than ever and being put on a new path into a new direction. Come on, Pisces. Pisces, something's happening for you in perfect timing. Something's happening for you in perfect timing, Pisces. You could be dealing with the Leo. Get more information, okay? So don't rush. Something's happening in the perfect time and you have enough time to get more information. Something is happening within the next few months for you, okay? All right. Okay, Spirit, what's going on in love for Pisces? going on in love for Pisces we have seduction Pisces what the hell is this somebody's trying to seduce you attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference so and then we have girl with the snake there's somebody that's there's some information that's coming to light for you within the next couple of months and you're going to realize somebody's true colors for real spirit is saying reconsider something somebody's seducing you and you might find out that this person is not who you say they are and i mean it don't have to be super negative you guys could be single and just you know doing what single people do but this one motherfucker they really doing too damn much okay anything else what's going on for pisces so look out for that. There's somebody that's just doing too damn much. Empath and narcissistic paradigm being charmed or used. Okay? Really have your boundaries for this person. Because if you're just trying to be single and just, you know, live your single life, this person is doing too much with the mind games. Come on now. We're single. Let me just call you when I want some and let me be on about my business. Why are you trying to play these weird ass games? Okay? It could be that easy, y'all. But people like to make it hard. Not today. Okay? Maybe you don't even want to fool with this person anymore. Maybe this is somebody you stopped talking to. They're trying to come back in and seduce you, but they have negative intentions. This is... I saw the Grim Reaper, and I'm glad it came back out. This relationship is over. It's over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. It's time to grow and transform your life. I see a new day coming in for you, so don't be too upset. Okay? could be a cancer or an aquarius you're dealing with something is happening in the perfect timing you could be finding out this information in the perfect timing yeah you're gonna be declining like nope not today that's gonna make this person mad as hell i see a lot of drinks don't put your drink down I see a lot of drinks. I see a lot of drinks. How many drinks will it take you to leave with me? No, don't put your damn drink down. Matter of fact, don't. I don't even go out to drink with motherfuckers no more. Look, I see a lot of drinks. It's you, Pisces. A lot of drinks. You're going to have to stop drinking. Stop drinking. Sorry. It. Just stop drinking. All 
All right, what's going on for Pisces in February 2023? I'm sorry, y'all know I'm extra. Y'all know, y'all already know. All right. There's something you're gonna have to stop doing though, for real. I'm not making this shit up. There's something, there's something here that's gonna come to an end or possibly needs to come to an end or whatever you wanna do. But get more information because you might be reconsidering about what's going on there's something coming to light to you that spirit is showing you it's coming in perfect timing okay and something's happening within the next few months i got the page of pentacles you could be dealing with an earth sign and you're stuck in your head about some type of money or about some type of situation that you're deciding to just try to fend off anyway and you're wondering how did i get myself into this why do i keep seeing this here the nine of cups you drinking I don't know why I'm getting this message. It keeps coming up. Even if you're not drinking, there's something that you're doing. And you keep asking yourself, how do I keep getting into this mess? The ace, yep. How do I keep hooking up with these people? Or how do I keep attracting these people or this mother effer here? How do I keep? Yeah, yeah. A lot of cups here. You let somebody play on your emotions. You let somebody do it. You let somebody seducing you, bro. That's all I see here. Girl with the snake. There's somebody seducing you and they don't have no good intentions, bro. How do you keep letting yourself go through that? You keep letting yourself go through it, bro. And it's just... They... It ain't they fault no more now. You keep going back and feeding into it now. This is why mental health is very important. So you guys make sure you are really loving yourself and pampering yourself and really building up your self-esteem and your self-confidence so you don't have to keep finding whatever it is that you're craving for in these in these situations. Shoot, because there ain't nothing wrong with being seduced, especially if it should. Let me get a boyfriend. I'm seducing my boyfriend. Yeah, we got the five of cups here, bro. This is not good. This is not good. The ace of swords. It's not good. There's things that need to really be rethinked about what, whatever it is you need to do. Go back to the drawing board. But back to mental health, y'all. Really loving yourselves and pouring, pour, not pouring from an empty cup. And then when you want something from somebody, they pour from an empty cup on you and they leave you unsatisfied and you keep going back. If you're thirst was quenched hopefully it's a positive thirst if your thirst was quenched or if it was a healthy thirst then i don't think you'd even be putting yourself through all of this heartache no more but whatever this is that's happening in the perfect timing for you pisces i feel like there's somebody that's coming in to tell you like hey pisces you might need to start reconsidering and doing this i feel like somebody might be going to counseling with you somebody's really helping you build your confidence as well really building you up into this wonderful successful person that has a lot of money that's awesome maybe you can have a lot of money now but you're still insecure so you spend all your money on unhealthy things but i feel like you're just out here searching for love pisces you're out here searching for your home and pisces usually always gets that story of just trying to figure out who they are you know, they're trying to figure out where they belong and their home and things like that. It's because you're so mutable. You can really be pushed and pulled any any which way in any direction, Pisces. You try to find your solid ground. So within the next few weeks, there's something coming in for you. Get more information. Something's happening in the perfect timing. So even if you are going through a couple of, you know, mishaps here with the tower, I feel like spirit hopefully and don't just be like i'm finna just do all crazy types of shit because i know spirit will catch me there's nothing wrong with that but i see spirit is gonna catch you and really put you back on the right path but whatever that means to you, yeah judgment card you you're gonna be put back on the right path and it may be by force or it may be willingly okay what what do you want to do it's completely up to you but you got to move into a positive new direction take back control of your life and be strong and stop letting people play on your emotions bro you're not a you're not a stupid person bro 
And I don't, I don't know. I feel like somebody really be trying to play on your emotions and shit like that. Somebody's very emotionally manipulative and they always find the upper hand over you. Just stop going back to that person. Just don't even try to get in an argument. Don't try to get in no, what, it, what the fuck is it? A tongue argument, a tongue wrestle, tongue wrestle is, I think that's what the fuck is called, whatever. <laughs> I see Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, fire, water, air. Aquarius, self sabotage. I see self sabotage too, y'all. So y'all just whatever it is that y'all putting yourselves through, y'all don't have to do it no more. You don't have to no more. You don't have to put yourself through it no more. The relationship is over, Grim Reaper. Not today. So maybe this is just confirmation that you did the right thing of you not talking to this person. Okay, you're gonna find. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is you're finding out, but there's something that's coming out. There's some information that's coming out. But also, something's happening for you in the perfect timing too, Pisces. Specifically for you. We're outside of whatever this BS is. So make sure you're doing your due diligence, getting more information and healing. Something good is coming within the next few months for you. I just see you moving into calmer waters and getting out of whatever this is. And you're going to be so glad that you did. All right, this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can leave a comment, leave a love donation, book a personal reading with me. Tell me the zodiac sign y'all dealing with because y'all had some stories on y'all, didn't you? Okay, and until I see y'all again, check out the description box. It has the most recent readings that I've done. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Bye.